Um, we had a nice presentation this morning, which was an introduction to uh, research data. And some of the things you heard this morning, I'll be going over in a bit more detail, things like data formats and metadata. And as we go through the week, um, some of the other lecturers will also talk about, they'll touch on similar things, but um, it's not going to be repetition, it's more reinforcement because we're talking about important aspects of, of research data. So we'll, we'll have a look again, what am I going to be covering today? Um, first of all, what is open data? Well, we heard this morning, I'm going to give you a, a couple of other definitions. Data ac accessibility, ethics, copyright and licensing of data. And we'll have a look at some examples of ocean, uh, of sorry, of open data policies. So this is uh, yet another definition of, of open data. As I said, as it says here, there's numerous definitions. So there's no one single definition for a lot of the things we're going to be talking about this week. We'll come up with definitions. There's no single definition. There's, there'll be sim, uh, a number of definitions. So this is uh, one definition here that's that's talking about. Um, open data and content can be freely used, modified and shared by anyone for any purpose. So that's a, that's a, defini a, a definition that's coming from opendefinition.org and, and they've got some very interesting information on their website about um, open data. Um, there's also something called the Open Data Handbook which provides an introduction to some of these aspects such as uh, the social and techni technical aspects of open data. Um, so there's a link there to go and have a look at that when you have some time. So the, the, ocean, uh, the open data handbook has is a, is a, got a lot of information there. So we can define op um, open data as first of all, it's freely available to download, it's in a reusable form, it's licensed, and hopefully it's licensed with minimal restrictions on its use. Um, it's well described, and this is where metadata comes in, describing its provenance, where it came, where it came from, um, how you can reuse it. It should also be uh, made available in, in convenient, modify, modifiable and open formats. And again, we heard about open formats. And it should also be managed by the, the data provider um, on an ongoing basis. So there needs to be somebody who's responsible for managing um, open data. So why do we need open data? A number of reasons. First of all, transparency. If you're a researcher, um, people need to be able to see what, what research you've done, maybe verify some of the results that you've, um, you've achieved from your, from your research. Also, from a government perspective. Governments need to be transparent, so any data that's collected by the government should be freely available, but it's just been collected at a taxpayer expense, so it should be um, made available. It's also important that you confirm the results of your research, so this allows uh, verification and replication, either by yourself or by your peers. It facilitates creation of new tools. So um, researchers can develop analysis tools to analyze their data or visualize their data. Um, it also fuels new discoveries. So researchers will be able to, if they can share data, they can come up with um, different um, discoveries so it's important that um, the data is made available. So this quote here, it says, open data are the building blocks of open knowledge. Open knowledge is what open data becomes when it's useful, usable, and used. So what we're talking about here is we're turning this open data into open knowledge. And um, there's a quote, that quote there comes from the o open knowledge foundation, I think it is. Another link there that you can have a look at. So a number of organisations, governments, whatever, have come up with some guidelines and principles on, on open data. I'll just discuss a few of those. First of all, OECD 
has developed a, a set of guidelines. Um, and these guidelines uh, are used by all the OECD member countries. They're based on commonly agreed principles, which will facilitate cost-effective access to digital research data from public funding. Now, there is a document that's available. This document is called the Principles and Guidelines for Access to Research Data from Public Funding. Um, and you can download that, have a look at that. Um, and this document's intended to improve the sharing of data and access to research data. So some of the specific aims and objectives of these OEC principles and guidelines are to, first of all, promote a culture of openness and sharing of research data amongst public research communities within the member, the OEC member countries to stimulate the exchange of good practices in data access and sharing, to raise awareness about the potential costs and benefits of restrictions and limitations on the access um, and sharing of data. It highlights the need to consider data access and sharing regulations and practices um, when you're formulating science policies or, or programs within your country provides commonly agreed upon framework um, of operational principles for establishing um, access to research data. And it also offers recommendations to member states to and how they can improve international research data and distribution. So these are the, the, the principles, the OECD principles, based on openness, flexibility, transparency, legal conformity, protection of, of IP, formal responsibility, professionalism, interoperability, quality, security, efficiency, accountability and sustainability. And if you want to read that document, it's available, to, it's on the um, OECD website, you can have a look at that. Um, it's quite a, a detailed document. 